Look who's here. Hey, Twine. What the guy be shocked up? How you doing? Yeah. Sure, it's nice to see you, man. Jesus. I ain't seen you, ain't seen you since last time, dude. And that last time Fats referred to had been quite some time ago. These two living legends who helped give birth to rock and roll had not talked in years. As with most musical geniuses, there were differences and hard feelings that got in the way of a beautiful friendship. But not on this day. It was just two old friends meeting at Fats' house. My two favorite people right here. Thank you, I appreciate that to the eyes. Dave had his sons Ron and Don with him, and it became a family reunion of sorts with Fats' daughter Adonica. Fats Domino and Dave Bartholomew go back a long way. Dave met Fats back in 1949 at a little club in the Ninth Ward and was amazed by his talent on the piano. Within a week and a half, they were at Cosmo Matassa's J&M studio on Rampart Street, making a record that arguably is one of, if not the, first rock and roll song. And giving it a name was a no-brainer. Because everybody called him the fat man, so what else you gonna call the song when he start the blues and got Feelings yeah, going, you know, and that was it, man, you know, we just started carrying on. It was just, just back at home again. The song The Fat Man started it all, <laughs> and 61 years later, these two have still got it. They call, they call me the fat man, cause I went to one part. All the girls love me, I used to give them money all the time. From there, it was hit after hit after hit. The collaboration of Dave Bartholomew, Fats Domino, and Cosimo Matassa turned out to be magic. There's no doubt about it. There'd be no Fats Domino without Dave Bartholomew. There'd be no Dave Bartholomew without Fats Domino. And there'd be no Fats and Dave without Cosimo Matassa. That's why I shake on that. I'm a good friend. Oh, I'm a good We ain't shooting sure yeah. in years. He was good to us. Yeah. Oh, that's, what, what's wrong with us? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what's wrong what, with you guys? Yeah, you shaking what, hands in years. That's why I want to shake hands because we, was, oh, we, we understand you, life. Now that we got older, to, we yeah. understand life. We're supposed to shake hands. Back in the old days, much of their music was not something they toiled over to write. It was a couple of guys having fun and jamming, and something would just happen. They're like, don't, don't, don't. You say, you say, don't, don't. Don't, 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 don't stop that nothing. And then and out of a clear blue sky, you start saying, I'm walking, yes, indeed, talking, but we can find the rest of the world. And we said, we're going in that in New Orleans, but we, we just was jamming because we were having so much fun. They had to get back to New Orleans to finish I'm Walking because this is where the music was. In other words, just we always had an awful lot of rhythm in our, in our, in our world, plus the blues. And quite natural, New Orleans being known for its second line, we considered that too. And with that, and what we added to it, we were very lucky and went over big. And one of their biggest songs they didn't even write, but are best remembered for, an old song that even the great Louis Armstrong had done. But when Fats and Dave did Blueberry Hill, it became a rock and roll classic. I found my view. So it's fitting that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame will honor these two legends of this great American music genre. All started by these two men jamming on a piano and a horn. You know, you still got it, man. 
You 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 said that too. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. Fats and Dave, the kings of rock and roll. Eric Paulson, Eyewitness News, Nightwatch.